Breath of the Wild is the biggest, most exciting Zelda game thus far, though some of the joy you might get from it might be from unexpected places. So we are looking at this release along with Nintendo Switch, which is very recent. And I would say this is the console selling game. Yeah. Um, this is the one that people want to play. You are, a lot of times we're seeing people spend $360 just to play this one game. And that's because people love it so much. And it is very interesting. It's one of the most big, well, it, it definitely is the biggest Zelda game um, and you can, do anything, go anywhere, that's part of it. So you would be able to uh, climb up walls yeah. and do, uh, in, in my demo, I got a game over screen by falling off of a tower because <laughs> I didn't realize I wouldn't be stopped in any way. It's, it's a lot, it's a very exciting game mm -hmm. besides that though. Um, let's take a look at a quick trailer. tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I think you are now ready, ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. So mm. all of that massive land yeah. you can take on um, and you can do all of those exciting things in there. However, uh, Nintendo creative genius Shigeru Miyamoto uh, apparently, according to reports, um, only chose to climb trees during the demo <laughs> of Breath of the Wild when it was uh, during an internal test. And uh, this is when they, they put rupees and apples all over the, mm -hmm. the map and he just chose to climb up trees and get them and he made his own little like mini game mm -hmm. out of this. And it's an interesting game also because while you have these easier softer moments like this where you can kind of form your own puzzle where you're running out of stamina mm -hmm. and uh, falling it's it's a little bit harder than old Zelda games yeah. you can die a lot and sometimes that's the fun of it yeah and the exchange is that you can also finish the game before actually finishing the whole game. You can actually end the game before you finish the whole game and get to the end point. And that's interesting, they moved the, con they made him right-handed when he was uh, left-handed before. I don't like that. <laughs> these I <are> am <laughs> left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> so these things, because of the control, because of the controllers, they made him, they made him right-handed. So that's mm -hmm. interesting. But I, I like the fact that they went in within the world they'd already created and were like, how can we accentuate the world? How can we make the more, more real world, more available? And it takes advantage of the technology has been progressing since the last Zelda game had come out. And so, yeah, climb the walls, climb the trees. You can even slide down the walls instead of falling down the walls. So maybe next time, slide down the tower instead of falling Listen, up the tower. I only had a limited time. amount of time <laughs> during the demo. <laughs> um, but it was fun yeah. and it, it is harder than older games yeah. and you would be, I liked that I got to cook things yes. early on. Um, but talking about the, the higher level of, <laughs> I guess, difficulty and mm. more proclivity to falling, game director Hidemaru Fujibayashi um, said that when we saw that, we also didn't see it as something negative. Mm. There's actually kind of a fun to be had from falling and dying. <laughs> you learn to be careful and be cautious. And we felt that gave a lot of players the emotional preparedness to take on the rest of the world. So we ultimately decided that we should let them die. Mm -hmm. They fall, they learn. It's not just a game, it teaches you about life, how, how positive <laughs> is that for Zelda? Uh, and also there's voice acting in this. And me as a voiceover artist, I was really happy to hear this because apparently there wasn't that in the, in the games before. There's a little bit. Yeah, but this yeah. Is, there's actually a lot more in this, right? Exactly, yeah. grunts and goans. But yeah, there's like noises. actual things that are, as we saw at the end of the video, mm -hmm. there's someone talking there. So that's, I think that's great. It's, if you're gonna come out with something, you gotta make it appeal to 2017 and you gotta make it so much more interesting. And it seems like they did that here. And if you're gonna use it to sell a, a console, it's gotta really be, and it's getting fantastic reviews all mm -hmm. across the board, so. It's really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I got chills personally playing it. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and what console you play it on matters in terms of graphics as well. Well, you can only play it on one console. Oh, <laughs> I thought there was a second console that had less you could play it on, but that's, well, that might be I mean, me just getting it wrong. I mean, you technically can play it on two different ways okay. where you play it, plug it in TV mode, uh, and that's then you it. could take that's it, lift I mean. it out and go in the smaller screen. Yes. I do prefer it on TV mode though. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, you can take it to go if maybe you need to get on the train or something, mm. and yeah. 
You're addicted to playing this game. <laughs> you have three hours to go. Sure, three right. to six is typical the typical life. I I would assume on the lower end because of battery life because right. it does seem like a more intensive game. Um, but it's not exactly clear to me at yeah. least. It looks great. I love that they're taking this new um, method of uh, not just game producing, but console producing and looking more toward learning lessons from um, other game creators and mm -hmm. other console makers as well. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo does have their own unique sort of beauty, uh, but I do like that they're changing it a little bit mm -hmm. just to be more um, accessible and desirable to yeah, people. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it's it's hurt them at all. Uh, you may have different opinions. Audience, have you played Breath of the Wild? And do you love to fall and die like uh, Fujibayashi-san said? <laughs> yeah? Maybe. Uh, let us know what you think of the game so far below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.